Yo, yo. Well, yesterday I was out walking my trail, right? Around the field, just smoking a J, cooling, you know what I'm saying? Catching some of that twilight. It was a real nice view and everything. But um, it's mad cherry trees. They're like wild cherry trees that grow along the fence line where them cows was at and in between that and the cornfield. And so yesterday, I found a gang of cherries on that tree, like, yo. Now they mad small, but nonetheless, a cherry is a cherry. And if we eat to live, then, you know, <laughs> we eat to live. And not about the size of the fruit. It's about the medicinal benefits of the fruit. So today, we on our trail. And about to go get me some of these cherries. Got me a bag. And I'm about to go get these joints. A matter of fact, I'm I'm walking on cherries right now. That's what's wild. You know what I'm saying? Jesus walked on water. Warren walked on cherries. <laughs> You can see all these little black dots. Look at these cherries, man. And that's the seed. Hold on. That's the seed right there. Damn. Well, I shouldn't have did that. But yeah. I walk on cherries, baby. Who you know walking on cherries? Who do you know? I got to do it in slow motion for you. So the cherry tree, well, I, actually all of these trees are cherry trees, like literally every one. But I'm gonna go to the one that I can actually pick the fruit off of. So yeah, you see, you can see they loaded. And this is a real, this is a rare sight for real because the birds normally get all these cherries. Like soon as they ripe, before they get ripe, the birds will come through and just swoop them all. So the fact that I can actually find these cherries on the tree right now, that's rare. I'm about to get everything that I can. And we ain't leaving nothing. The birds get the high up ones and we get the low, low, low one, you know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, where's this tree at though? And the easy way to tell if it's a cherry tree above you or not is just by looking down. You see a whole lot of fruit on the ground, and then you look up, and then you know, you know. So we're gonna get these cherries if they still here. I hope the birds ain't take them all since last night. I would be upset. But if we look down now, up, oh, up, oh, here they go. Here go the tree I'm looking for, right here. These are the ones that I can reach. Yeah, so I'm about to get all of these right now. Should have bought me a little tripod or something. Look at that goodness. Little miniature cherries. Little baby cherry. But they still give you the same health benefits. Ooh. So cherry is one of my favorite fruits to eat Because it like As soon as I eat it like It get rid of the acid in my stomach and everything And the seed Right there I'm Trying to figure out how I can hold this thing Cherry seed right there
as you can see, got a pretty good harvest already. And I didn't pick that many of them because it's a lot of work. And I want to keep walking my trail and see. So these are some little unripe ones. I'm going to get this one on the end here. Won't you? Oh, no, actually, no. Get you two and you. But yeah, I'm gonna be out here for a little while, probably. I'm gonna get everything I can get. And it's not the only tree either. Like this whole path that I'm walking down right now, it's like cherry trees all down this joint. So like, on some G shit, I'm trying to fill up this whole bag. We gonna keep it pushing for right now though. And um, as we find more, we'll stop and we'll do the thing. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, it's, it's nothing better than this. Free cherries. You know what I'm saying? You go to the grocery store, they charging you six, seven dollars a pound for some cherries. And that's just no bueno. <laughs> Free 99. But I know you see this, man. Who you know walked on cherries? You know what I'm saying? Now I will admit, walking on cherries is nowhere near as pleasant as walking on water, I'm sure. But I mean, come on. Recognize royalty when you see it. You know what I'm saying? Who you know? Who you know? Like, who do you love? Somebody back there. Hey, I hear you. See, they recognize royalty when they hear it. Oh my God, look at this tree. I can't even reach these. See, this a bird, man, this whole tree is loaded. This whole, I don't even know if you can see it on the phone, but if you just look down, you know they there. You know what I'm saying? You know they there. So now we know we got us a cherry tree. And I can't even reach these cherries. So, you know, man, they look so good, though. I'm going to have to, I'm going to give me a stick or something. <laughs> yeah. Good eats. Real good eats. I'm out here. This is my first time filming on a not cloudy day. It's sunny as hell. And I had to get out here early before the colonizers start beating and banging on this So we just gonna keep searching, searching, searching. I ain't walked this path in a little while, you know. It's good to get out here in different seasons because it look completely different at different times of the year. And check this. So here go the grapevines, this wild muscadine grapevines, which I still yet to see one actual grape on these vines. But in this region, these grapevines just take over. Like they are an invasive species. But apparently they all males or something because where is the fruits? I don't be seeing the fruits. They be in the yards, out the yards. They go another one. They And they will completely like consume a tree. Like this is a cherry tree right here. This one ain't got too much going on on it. A little bit happening. A little bit happening. Look at these little cherries. You know what I'm saying, man? Which brings me to another good point that I be like, you know what I'm saying? Dwelling on. It's like, they'll tell you that money don't grow on trees, right? But fruit does grow on trees. And they charge you money for fruit. Ain't that something? Ain't that something? That's like a peach tree right there. Ain't that something? They charge you a resource that's not renewable for a renewable resource. It's crazy, man. It's crazy. And then what's even more interesting than that, when you go out in public, you see nothing but male trees. But they cut down every female tree in existence. Just so you would go to the grocery store and buy things that grow on trees. It's craziness. Look at this. Man, I'm trying to told you, man. You don't know nobody walking on chairs. You don't know nobody. That's a different type of rich right there. That's a different type. 
You gotta respect it, man. Come on. I know water hard to walk on. I know. But cherries even harder. <laughs> Balls. <laughs> this shit crazy, man. I think we about to go ahead and double back, though. I think I might have passed all the good good. Yeah, I think we passed all the good good. Trying to figure out how far I walked yesterday. I don't see no cherries on the ground this way. Yeah, we gonna double back. I just had to show you them, them cherries, man. I'm finna eat good, you know? All the health. All the health benefits of the, the big store-bought cherries and fat jumps that taste like water. Same thing in these little ones. I need to eat a little bit more of these little ones. But that's cool because I got a little bit more. Ain't nothing to come out here and get a couple pounds worth of these. You know what I'm saying? You a fresh one on the ground. Lord. Here go the colonizers. Here they go. Dog. And this should be going on from like 8 a.m. until who the f know, like five o'clock. These mother just be banging, banging, banging all goddamn day. Disturbing the peace. They done stole our land and then they disturbing our peace. This is crazy, man. And I'm gonna just keep collecting these cherries. So yeah, man, it's like it's gonna be a short video on this one. Cause um, this, this is annoying as I ain't even going well to you. I don't be having the patience for it. So yeah, I'ma get it y'all, man. Cherries. So one more real quick thing before we go. I actually bumped into another little plant that's a, a, a very unique plant. Y'all don't have to excuse the banging. They just, they bang away. But um, this is a very interesting plant right here. So check this out. And it, you know what? It actually appeared in one of my previous videos. And I didn't mention it, but um, here we go, right here. So this little sucker right here, this weird like bird footed plant, this sassafras. And this plant is actually what they use to make MDMA or molly. This plant is essentially molly. Like they say from research, they say that um, it's really hard to distinguish the difference between molly and this right here. So, you know what I'm saying? It's just a weed they grow. They say it's hard to find and, you know what I'm saying? But if you in nature, it's just here. Like everything, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's just growing on its own. So sassafras right there. It got that funky little leaf. It look kind of cool. It look trippy. They say it's a hallucinogenic plant. I've never consumed it personally. I had molly before. I never had this, but um, yeah. That's the sassafras. And it's actually, it's a couple of them. Like, they growing. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's a little baby over here. The sassafras growing. I got it. I've been meaning to look up this thing. I don't know what this is yet. I just started seeing this plant. I'm about to look it up. Hold on. So, burn weed. That's what they call this. Burn weed. Just put it on my app. And I knew this was something different that I hadn't previously seen before. Like, that's... <laughs> I'm good at like picking out a plant that I ain't never seen. So, cause it look, it just, it looks distinct and interesting. So again, burn weed got some medicinal properties. I just looked it up. It treat like poison ivy and like wounds and stuff like that. And they say that the young leaves can be eaten raw, which it ain't looking too edible to me. I don't think I would want to eat that one, but um, it does look like a cool plant. So I'm always down for finding a new plant. But yeah, I just wanted to, you know, touch on that on that sassafras. And then we got the burn weed. But yeah, we out for real this time. Peace.